The new trailer was just revealed for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. These remakes for Diamond and Pearl are confirmed and will be coming out in the later part of this year. However, with very little information about the specifics behind the entirety of these games, there are many questions that are being asked right now. Some of those questions being, what exactly will be in the final game? Will Mega Evolutions be included? Why did Game Freak do this to me? I asked for something more than this, I just want to get what I deserve and it's not this game. Well, I can't help with any of those questions, but nevertheless, the possibility of Mega Evolutions making their return will be great to see. Sinnoh was a region known for evolving past Pokémon, so it would be the perfect generation to bring something from an older generation back into the games. And as Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire included a lot of their own Generation 3 Pokémon into the mix, let's focus exclusively on the Generation 4 Pokémon that could create the best Mega Evolution forms in the entire game and talk about which Pokémon from Sinnoh would deserve these 10 spots if Mega Evolutions return in these games. Let's discuss together the top 10 Generation 4 Pokémon we hope to see get new Mega Evolutions in Pokémon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Hope you enjoy. Number 10. Driftbloom With every set of new forms, there has to be one that's somewhat of a joke, but still a nice serious addition to the roster of Mega Evolutions. Driftbloom would be the perfect subject to not only have a humorous looking Mega Evolution, but also one that could make it look like the beast of a Pokemon its design is capable of being turned into. It starts off as a balloon, turns into a hot air balloon, what we need next is a blimp. This would also open up the doors for the Pokemon Company to partner up with other companies like Goodyear to use their design and make a Mega Goodyear Drift Blimp. I mean, it hasn't really been a good year, but let's not blame that on a company's name. Number 9. Vespiqueen Many of the Pokemon based after royalty have been the frontrunners when fans ask for new Mega Evolutions. Nidoking and Nidoqueen have been heavily requested, Kingdra's another one for the to-do list, and even Slowking was asked about before it managed to get a form of its own. Out of all the Generation 4 Pokémon, Vespiqueen is one that stands out as its own special Pokémon without being in any of the special groupings like Legendary or Starter Pokémon. Vespiqueen is one of the higher rated bug Pokémon, and with it standing out as one of the symbolic Generation 4 Pokémon, it would make a great choice to create a Mega Evolution for. It was definitely a different type of bug compared to the starting route bug Pokémon you usually encounter. Most bugs don't really need their flying type, so what if we change Vespiqueen to a fire bug type for the fiery pain you get when stung by a bee? It also helped the lack of fire types in Generation 4 and have a more fierce look for the queen bee. Giving Vespiqueen a fire crown and a more ablaze look could give us a more ruthless fire bug type to rival Volcarona in its own signature way while being just a form. Sorry, Send a Scorch. Number 8, Yanmega. I'm not allowed to make this list without Yamega being on it, or they'll find me. I know the original Japanese name would make it the double Mega of any other Pokemon, which is great, that's twice the Mega. However, I am starting to feel how Game Freak felt about Mega Flygon when I'm trying to come up with a concept for new Mega Evolutions. There's just so many ideas spread amongst the comments and images through Google search, and with a name like Yan Mega and a form named Mega Evolutions, there's just so many ideas being spread out. What can I even come up with that would reach the expectations of everyone? Put like a sword in its mouth or something? Okay, they did already make that with Zacian. So how about we put two cannons on its side, the build of a bulky fighter jet, and crystallize its shell. Now make it a dragon type. Mega Yen Mega. Number 7. Togekiss. Togepi was one of the Pokemon given the spotlight in Generation 2, like Pikachu was, as it was Misty's never go in the Pokeball signature Pokemon. It definitely had its own big reputation, and as the years passed, Generation 4 gave it a new evolution with Togekiss. It was loved by many, and quite powerful. As it's one of the special Pokemon given a new evolution in this generation, it would make the perfect subject for a return of Mega Evolutions in the remastering of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. But what could they make for a Pokemon like this? Dragon Fairy isn't used by any Pokemon besides Altaria's Mega Evolution. Let's add another Dragon Fairy version, now of Togekiss, into the mix. If we have two Dragon Fairy Mega Evolutions, that might count as one full Pokemon and let fans now say that the type is actually used. A form that lets it look like it's unleashed would really suit this cute ball of fluff and giving it the coming of age story that every Pokemon fan seems to want. 
It would really suit this Pokemon in the same way some split evolutions can really change the mood a Pokemon is giving off. Number 6. Staraptor Staraptor always had a special place on my team, and as the starting raw bird Pokemon that brought back the full 3-piece chicken combo from the first generation, we need to give it the sauce. We started with Pidgeot, then went to Noctowl and Swellow, and finally back to the standard full evolution line with Starly, Staravia, and Staraptor. It also has that tough angry look to it, with a little crouton of color at the top with that sleek red addition to its mohawk. What I was thinking for its Mega Evolution would be a flying fighting type variant, as it was known for being the starting route bird Pokemon with a unique addition of close combat. This was heavily used to take down a lot of Pokemon during a playthrough, and something somewhat different for a normal flying type. The same way that Mega Pidgeot had that majestic feel, Mega Staraptor could have a polished, thicker look with a toughness of fighting types. It'd be great to see a Pokemon who already has that Galarian far-fetched personality being given that fighting type demeanor and enhancing it to be Mega Evolved into even more of the Predator Pokemon it is. Number 5. Weavile There's definitely a tier list for everyone's favorite new evolutions in this generation, and Pokemon like Togekiss and Weavile are frequently at the top when it comes to ranking these Pokemon. But what do I know about ranking Pokemon? The number 5 Pokemon in this top 10 of possible Mega Evolutions goes to Weavile as not only does it have a great design to be utilized into something that will stand out, it's also one of Cyrus's signature Pokemon. And giving a Mega Evolution to show off a boss Pokemon would not only be able to push this great design even further, it could also be toned really easily to match his personality. Honshiro is another pick I'd love to see. Seeing how that hat can be changed is a dream of mine. And Cyrus's team is filled with Pokemon that already have Mega Evolutions, so it'll be nice to deck the rest of them out as well. But for now, with just Weavile, giving it the opposite Gallade treatment with a villain design instead of the heroic look would suit this type of Pokemon. If Gallade was a swordsman, Weavile would be the assassin that lurks in the shadows and pops out with its sneaky dark moves. Even giving it a more magical look with hovering ice shards around its neck like Mega Steelix could give it a different calm demeanor like it chilled out and found its inner zen like Mega Alakazam. The possibilities are endless for a Pokemon with the base look of Weavile, and as I mentioned, the Pokemon on Cyrus's team that don't have Mega Evolutions could all make great additions to the roster of Megas. But for now, number 5 goes solely to Weavile. Number 4. Gliscor. The last Pokemon from our previous generation who evolved in these games on this list comes out at number 4 with Gliscor. Gliscor tops the charts and is a personal favorite of mine as there are many things you can do with its wonderful design. It could be a dark ground type with a more vampiric look, it could steel suit up and turn into a metal warrior seeking out its targets. What about a poison type? It's already got the purple look in the stinger, time to inflict the targets. With the many possible Mega Evolutions for a Pokemon like this, it would be great to see it actually transform between these types like Cast Form can in Weather. Maybe depending on the type of attack it uses, its new Mega Evolution ability will give it a slightly changed design for each one of these possible types and alternate its flying type. It could even have its base Mega Form be a perfected Mega design of its original ground flying type and add details to suit the type for its Protean based ability. Number 3. Luxray. Luxray is one of the Pokemon nearing the top of my favorite Pokemon, and I hope it's able to explode in even more popularity for its gorgeous design with the enhancements a Mega Evolution could really bring in. The primary type that a lot of fans say this Pokemon can really pull off, and even say that it should have originally been, is Electric Dark. This would make a great base for a Luxray Mega Evolution, as that confident glaring look that Luxray has could be highlighted with this type. This is one of those Pokemon that doesn't even need to be changed too much in its look to pull off a great Mega Evolution. They can give it a dark aura, electrical currents blasting out of it, and just that optimization of its original design, with small features to really highlight the parts we already love to be even better, will make this a great Mega Evolution. As Electric Dark hasn't been a type to be fully utilized as it's only on Morpeko, a third stage Pokemon Mega Evolving into an Electric Dark type that also looks as complete as Luxray already is, would add a lot to this type combination that should have really been used a lot more. Number 2. The Starter Trio Just like Yamega having Mega in its name, there's no possible Mega Evolution list for a new remake without the starters all being grouped together to receive special treatment. Remember when Charizard got a Gigantamax and the uproar for the rest came out? That's why we have all three in this section. 
Infernape has to just go all out in a blazing heat. Fire everywhere, looking tougher, keeping its unique and never before seen firefighting combination in its mega evolution. Just toughening this guy up and making it that lean mean fighting machine would make the crowd go wild. Speaking of machines, the water steel type of Empoleon comes in. We talked about royalty getting their own form of treatment, so let's make Empoleon look like more of an emperor. I don't mind it going on all fours and becoming a literal tank, but just adding more silver to go with the blue or spicing up that metallic armor in this look would really polish up this pristine Pokemon. And finally, Torterra. We can't have a remake without looking at a tree and thinking this needs to be updated in higher quality. Just brushing up and getting that island on the back of this turtle upgraded would be the main focal point anyone would look for when mega evolving Torterra. I think the ground aspect of Torterra could be more apparent. Add a little bit of detail on that nice fertile dirt, while adding some nicer foliage to its body like Pokemon Platinum did to Floroma Town would enhance the look of Torterra. Now that's a mega trio. Number 1. Arceus Arceus is not only a Pokemon that could use this type of evolution as part of the story, but also one that pushes the boundaries of what new attributes could be implemented into Mega Evolutions as a whole. Groudon and Kyogre were given Primal Forms, which was a form first used in Mystery Dungeon for Dialga. So if Dialga and Palkia were to get Primal Forms, and Giratina has its Origin Form, Arceus could have an upgraded Mega Evolution with an Omega Form. Arceus could be humanoid in this, or simply unleashed in its full outraging personality it showed off in the movies. It could also be more calm and zen, like you'd only want to restore peace. You'd encounter it in the 70s. An Omega form could be a combination between Z-moves and Mega Evolutions, where all of its moves will be upgraded to even more powerful moves in addition to its look and stats. Its type could also change with the moves it uses, like how we mentioned with Gliscor, except this could allow Arceus to unlock dual types as well. Status moves can change its secondary type, while attacking moves can change its primary type. Or any move can just add on to the plate it's holding. This would give it some additional gameplay mechanics that would be fun to mess around with. Overall, an enhanced version of Arceus that isn't just spikes around its body and more in tune with trying to give that divine overhaul would be the perfect form, and having this type of evolution form could add a part to the story of the games. With something like Giratina's origin form being introduced in Pokemon Platinum, it's hard to see something like the origins of these Pokemon not being the main plot in the new Arceus game, seeing as it takes place in the Sinnoh days of yesteryear. This could even be the way you unlock a new form for Arceus in the remakes after completing the tales of Pokemon Legends. Arceus could have had to inherit more power in those days, and seeing its own form of evolution would really add a lot to the games. Just imagine how this new form of Mega Evolution would look in the graphics of its own game and chibi style.